Once upon a time, in a quiet little village nestled beside a deep, enchanted forest, lived a curious and kind-hearted girl named Masha. She loved exploring the world around her, especially the magical forest near her home. Every day, the forest whispered secrets to her, the leaves dancing in the wind, and the birds singing soft lullabies. But Masha had never met the guardian of the forest, the legendary bear who kept the forest in balance. One peaceful evening, just before bedtime, Masha noticed something odd. The moon, usually bright and round, seemed a little dim. A silvery cloud was covering it, casting a soft glow across the village. Masha's heart filled with curiosity. She tiptoed out of her bed, grabbed her favorite stuffed bear, and slipped into her cozy slippers. I must find out what's wrong with the moon, she whispered to herself. With the moonlight leading the way, Masha ventured into the dreamy forest. The trees seemed taller than usual, their branches swaying like they were trying to tell her something. As she wandered deeper, she heard a gentle rumble, not of thunder, but of a big, sleepy bear snoring. It was the bear, the guardian of the forest. The bear was curled up under a glowing tree, fast asleep. His fur shimmered like golden honey under the faint moonlight, but his face was wrinkled with worry even in his dreams. Masha tiptoed closer, her little heart beating fast. She softly tapped the bear's shoulder. Excuse me, Mr. Bear? Can you help me? The bear opened one sleepy eye, then the other, and yawned a big, deep yawn. Why, hello there, little one, he rumbled in a soft, gravelly voice. What brings you to the dreamy forest at this hour? Masha looked up at the moon. Something's wrong with the moon tonight. It's not as bright as it should be. I thought maybe you could help. The bear scratched his head, his big paws clumsy but gentle. Ah, oh, I see. The moon is tired, just like me. You see, the moon works very hard each night to light up the sky, and it seems she's fallen asleep early. Masha giggled. Even the moon gets sleepy? The bear chuckled softly, his deep voice calming. Oh, yes. And when the moon gets too tired, all the dreams of the forest get tangled up, making it hard for anyone to sleep peacefully. Masha's eyes widened. So, what do we do? The bear stood up slowly stretching his mighty limbs. We need to visit the moon's garden, where the moon keeps her dreams. If we can find her favorite lullaby, we can sing it to her, and she'll wake up just enough to shine again. Masha and the bear began their journey through the forest. Along the way, they passed glowing fireflies, twinkling like stars, and sleepy owls hooting softly. The forest was so peaceful, the leaves whispered gently, and the air smelled sweet, like honey and flowers. Finally, they arrived at the moon's garden. It was a magical place, full of floating lanterns and glowing flowers. In the center of the garden was a beautiful harp, the moon's favorite lullaby instrument. All we need to do is play the harp, the bear said and the moon will hear her favorite song. Masha looked up at the bear, her eyes wide with excitement. Can I try? she asked. The bear smiled and nodded. Of course, little one. The moon loves the sound of gentle hands. Masha reached out to the harp, her small fingers brushing the shimmering strings. The moment she began to play, a soft, beautiful melody filled the air. 
It was the sweetest lullaby the forest had ever heard. The flowers swayed to the rhythm, and even the fireflies slowed their flight, listening. As the lullaby played, the moon began to shine brighter and brighter, her light filling the sky once more. The forest seemed to sigh in relief, and Masha felt a warm, comforting glow all around her. The bear smiled down at Masha. You did it! The moon is awake again, and now, all the dreams are in harmony. It's time for everyone to sleep peacefully. Masha yawned, her eyelids feeling heavy. The bear gently picked her up in his big, soft paws. Let me take you home, little one. You've done enough for tonight. As they made their way back to the village, Masha felt so sleepy, but in the best way. The kind of sleepy that makes you feel warm and safe, like being wrapped in a soft blanket. The bear whispered softly, Whenever you feel sleepy, Masha, just remember the moon's lullaby. It will help you drift off into the sweetest dreams. And with that, the bear placed Masha back in her bed, tucking her in with her stuffed bear beside her. The moonlight now shone brightly through her window, casting a silver glow on her pillow. Masha smiled as her eyes fluttered shut, her dreams filled with magical forests, glowing flowers, and the kind-hearted bear who helped her bring the moon back to life. And so, Masha drifted off into a deep, peaceful sleep, her heart full of warmth, knowing that the moon and the bear were watching over her.